So I'm gonna be honest with you guys, my ego got the best of me and I kind of uh, got myself into a situation that I probably shouldn't be in. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and sorry about the uh, wind noise. But anyways, we're gonna be doing our off-road review with the all new 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland 4xE. Now this one has the off-road group, so it's basically a trail hawk. I'll get into that in just a moment. But before we get in the video, as always, if you wanna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into the specs and then let's get into the off-roading. First off, the ground clearance is kind of confusing because you guys might see 10.9 inches of ground clearance on certain sources, and then other sources will say 11.3 inches of ground clearance. Here's the deal. This one has the aggressive all-terrain tire package on it, part of the off-road group, and so that's how it has 11.3 inches of ground clearance. The tires are a little bit taller than these street tires. So if you get this with street tires, you'll have 10.9 inches of ground clearance. So this has the same amount of ground clearance as the Trailhawk. It also has tow hooks there on the front end, which look pretty cool. We have our trail rated badge, but the only difference between this and a Trailhawk, frankly, is this has a nicer interior, and then the Trailhawk has the sway bar disconnect. Okay, so we're gonna be setting off on our gravel trail. This is a pretty short portion of the video, um, but we're just gonna keep it in auto mode, and I'm just gonna let it do what it needs to do. 4,600 feet elevation is where we are at. It's cool that it shows you the elevation just like the new uh, Land Rover models as well. I just, I don't know, I think that's kind of exciting. Now, the tire parts, you guys can see I have it set at uh, what it's supposed to be set at from the factory. I still don't have an air compressor, so I'm not gonna air down tires for these reviews until uh, I get one. Um, but on top of that, right, we'll just see how this does with what uh, Jeep has it set at with the uh, factory setting. It's actually pretty smooth over this, um, what did you, Basically, it's a dirt road. That's, that's what this is. Um, so those of you that live in rural areas, this is what you'll be driving over all the time. Um, do have to slow down for cattle guards. I found that out coming into this, like it's pretty bumpy with that. I can tell the traction control system is working. That is for sure. I can tell it's kind of, uh, I wouldn't say slipping out, but it's definitely getting to work. That is for sure. But uh, what, what you need to know is without the tires aired down, you know, once you get up to speed, it's smooth. I feel like I've got pretty good control of the car too. Yeah. So for our first test, we are in full off-road two mode for the suspension. This is cool. It shows you what the suspension's doing when you're moving. But anyways, we're gonna go to the front camera here. And being unibody and having independent front and rear suspension, I imagine I should be able to get through here, potentially, but I'm also probably gonna pick up a tire pretty early on. So I'm gonna take a different line, there we go. There's a tire up in the ground. Um, let me see if I can, yeah, I might have to back up a little bit. Okay. And I've got this in, ooh, e-save mode. We're gonna pop it into hybrid mode now. So forward facing camera, make sure we don't hit a rock. Let me see if I can split the difference between this. Yeah, it's gonna pick up a tire regardless. Not as much as I thought it would though, frankly. I know that it seems crazy that I'm taking this super slow, but I don't want to, let me make sure I don't hit this rock. Oh, yeah, I don't want to hit into any rocks and obviously I don't want to damage Jeeps press car yeah it's just not making the transfer got that wheel pretty far up this is probably going to be such a interesting part of the video here let me uh check it out quickly so basically all you guys need to know with that articulation section is i basically could not find a single um angle that i could take that at to where i wouldn't be uh damaging the vehicle and actually we need to Get out of this there we go i angled down the uh, hill a little bit improperly so let's go back to forward facing camera so you can see the hill a little bit better okay this should be better now and this will tell me how good these tires are i'm getting a little bit of slipping though Ooh, quite a bit more slipping than i expected okay see how the run up is pretty good had to turn the engine on. I was in the hybrid mode and had all electric. I had to turn the engine on to get up though. Okay, so this is where I got stuck with that Volvo actually. So let's see if the Jeep can figure it out. Oh, 
<laughs> so yeah that's where i got tripped up with the volvo because yeah but yeah it did it that's all i gotta say is it did it so i'm in the sand and mud mode air suspension still at the top now this um it's gonna test the traction more than anything else getting through it there we go has to figure it out has to figure it out still figuring it out still figuring it out popping up tires oh my goodness makes it look more dramatic than it is but we made it up the uh, sandy hill whatever you want to call it okay so we're still in the mud and sand i actually lowered the air suspension down a little bit because i don't think i need the ground clearance for this i'm um, still in four wheel high might have to put it in four wheel low though we'll see Okay. Um, yeah, honestly, I think we're limited by tires more than anything else. I'm gonna pop it into four wheel low though. We'll give it a fair chance. Come on. There we go, four wheel low. Okay. creeping up um yeah the all-wheel drive system just trying to figure it out but it just yeah it doesn't seem like it can doesn't seem like it can get the grip again i don't think this is don't think this is because of the uh system driveline system i think it's just because the tires frankly you need pretty aggressive tires to be able to make it up this usually oh my goodness <laughs> oh my gosh okay let's try it again It is, okay, um, here, I'm gonna give it one more go and I'm gonna switch it back to four wheel high. See if that does anything for us. So we're gonna go back to neutral. Okay. Back in four wheel high. I'm just, it's not gonna happen. Wow. That is quite a surprising result. Okay, so here is our first rock crawling obstacle. I have it in sand mud and I've got the air suspension all the way up four wheel high. I wanna see if I can do this without having to go into rock crawl mode. I wanna see how good the four wheel drive system is. Now, funny enough, up stuff like this, I am not as concerned about ground clearance as I am about just tire grip. Okay. It's pushing me to the wrong side is the problem. So, I'm gonna give that one more go, just because people always like to criticize us journalists for not doing enough on an obstacle. Okay. Always want to go smoothly. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to take it down nice and slow. And trying to take it down nice and slow <laughs> and i am not taking it down nice and slow goodness gracious okay um so anyways i'm gonna put it in neutral I'm gonna put it in four wheel low 
Okay, gonna put it into rock crawl mode. Okay, rock. All set. Drive. Okay, forward facing camera. Let's try this again. Okay. Come on. Figure it out, figure it out, Jeep. Try again. That is not graceful at all. We got through. Again, not graceful at all, but we got through. So again, we are in four wheel low. Rock crawl mode. Air suspension all the way up. Okay, now I should be going straight. Scraped a little bit there. We got skid plates though. Yeah, <laughs> for, a, for a Jeep Grand Cherokee, that's pretty impressive. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys, my ego got the best of me and I kind of uh, got myself into a situation that I probably shouldn't be in. I think I can make it up. I hope I can make it up. Because if I can't, I'm probably stuck. Come on, Jeep. I am picking up wheels like crazy. This is like a super steep hill. Uh, the reason I said that I wouldn't be able to get back down is because I had to go through this like super sandy part that I had to go on like three wheels to get through and oh my gosh, that is my cortisol rush for the freaking month. I probably didn't look like much on camera, but like I was like this close to getting stuck. So it never looks like much on camera, but you have these sandy bits and those are mixed in with some rocks. And so this is a pretty articulated section. Uh, this wall at the steepest point is probably 30 something degrees. You guys can see my tripod just took a big L on it. But this is an extremely difficult obstacle to traverse because of the sand mixed with the slick rock. And the fact that it made it up, like I'm shocked and I'm also grateful because I don't want to get stuck. So I was trying to do the conclusion for the video, but it's so windy outside that it's just not gonna happen outside. So I figured that we would do one more of these uh, little rock crawl things and uh, give you guys my final thoughts on this. So the all, or I keep saying all wheel drive. The four wheel drive system with this thing is fantastic. Um, ground clearance is obviously amazing with the air suspension. I am frankly shocked at the stuff that this uh, was able to handle. Again, being a unibody SUV with that's a you know with independent front rear suspension, um, just yeah, absolutely mind blown. Um, the only thing that I feel like limits this is just frankly the tires. It'll have the power just being routed through the electric side of things and then the engine will turn on and it's turbocharged and so you guys saw like several things i just jumped and you know i'm sure that maybe i could eventually get used to it but yeah at the same time i'd, I'd rather just have nice smooth power and so if i were to get one of these it's probably gonna be the hemi sorry if that upsets people at jeep um but yeah let me know what you think